Hey, what's up? This is Chosen, and this is going to be a Diablo 4 video walking you through a tool that I think can be pretty impactful that you're going to want to employ in your farming because especially as we head into season one and your account resets and you want to get some of these build defining items that could be really good for your class, you're going to want to know what dungeons to run and where to farm and all that. And I think this tool is worth covering here on the channel so that you know about it. Let's get into it. Okay, the reason that this is so useful is because, let's say, so for all classes, something super generic, I did a video about these pants and called them like the best overall legendary in the game for all classes and all situations. These temerity pants that are going to give you the barrier based on bonus healing, really, really good progression pants and you want to be wearing them until you really get your build fully min-maxed and then you can replace them for some standard damage reduction pants at that point. But anyway, when you click on temerity, it's going to show you right here. So you can see right here that it says the mob type you want to farm are drowned and then it gives you over here on the right the dungeons that you would want to be doing you've got dead man's dredge the flooded depths and stuff like that and it shows you where you can go to have a higher chance of getting these boosted unique drops temerity shows up right there but you can also do class specific stuff as well. So take off the temerity pants. You just click on them again and it disappears. And then you can filter by class. So I can click sorcerer over here. And now it shows some of those uniques that are just for the sorcerer. Like right here, the raiment of the infinite is a super famous one that all of those sorcerers are looking for. And that's going to be the one where after you teleport, it's going to bring enemies close to you and stun them for two or three seconds and help you stack more multipliers and farm a little bit more consistently. It's great for speed farming, pulling stuff in and blasting it down. And you'll see when we click on the raiment of the infinite, it's going to show us down here that we're going to get it most notably from beast right here for the mob type and then also spiders. And then it shows us the dungeons over on the right. So we've got some really good ones right here. Like Alderwood is famous blind burrows, popular dungeons that people love to run. So if you don't have a raiment yet and you're a sorcerer, this kind of information would let you know like, okay, I really need to blast blind burrows and alderwood they're two of the better dungeons and they are an opportunity for me to have a boosted up chance of getting my raiment of the infinite that i do not have yet and it can even be a good spot for you to go just to learn what's out there just to learn all of the uniques in the game you can kind of mouse over them and it will show you like oh okay and Daryl's okay and then all oh, the harlequin crest uh, good luck getting it by the way you're probably more likely to win the actual lottery than to get a Harlequin Crest, but you can see that it gives you the 10 to 20% damage reduction, and then also the plus four rank to all skills. And then when you click on it, you would see, well, if I do want to go for the Harlequin Crest, then I'm going to have to kill cultists and cannibals. And then it shows you the dungeons right here that you would want to run over on the right to get a boosted up chance of getting the Shaco, but good luck. It's not going to happen probably which I bet you at some point, this is going to be a little bit more realistic to get. We already have rumors of getting world tier five and the new gem levels. Like they're adding the three gem levels on top of the current ones that we have. I bet you these like super rare uniques like the Shaco, they'll probably have like a boosted chance in world tier five and it will really promote getting into those tougher tiers where you can get the absolute top tier items or at least have a little bit better chance of getting them than we do now. I think right now it's like uh, each player will find one like every 200 seasons or something. It's something crazy, whatever it is. But anyway, uh, yeah, I bet you it's going to change with world tier five and some of the new content that's going to be adding to seasons. And by the way, I was showing you on Sorcerer, but obviously you can filter by any class right here, like for the Barbarian. One of the more famous ones is going to be right here, the Gore's Devastating Grips that all of the Whirlwind Barbs are trying to get their hands on. And you can see right here, the boosted up chance is the Spiders. So you'd want to be doing Blind Burrows right there. So honestly, Blind Burrows is a great one to farm. Not only is it a god tier dungeon in terms of density and XP per hour and farming and clearing it quickly, but also we're getting both Temerity and the Gores just by me kind of like looking at it here in the video. And this is the kind of thing that you might want to browse through for a few minutes and just kind of acclimate yourself towards planning for season one and some of the stuff that you're going to want to target to get on your build as soon as possible. But there is actually some other stuff on the site as well that you can take advantage of. 
And another thing that I really like here on the site is this gambling aspects tool. So I can just show you like one example of how this works. You've got your aspects down here. Again, you can filter by type and class and all of that. But right here, this disobedience aspect is gonna be a really popular one for the start of season one because it's the one that gives you the armor based on dealing damage and it stacks up and it can really give you a lot of toughness to help you progress into tougher content and be able to level as fast as possible. So when you click on disobedience, it's going to show you right away the most optimal item to gamble for this aspect is pants on a necromancer. And then it gives you a breakdown of why, because Necromancer has the least competing aspects in the given slot. And then for pants, the slot has the least competing aspects in that slot as well. And then as you scroll down, you can use this chart right here to see that no matter what class you're playing, pants are gonna be the best slot right there. You can see it's got the Necromancer there at the 0.28. But even for the Rogue, all the way down at 0.15, which is the worst, your other slots are way, way unlikely to get it. So if you're looking for a specific aspect like that, in a matter of seconds, you can kind of get an idea of what you should be doing no matter what class you're playing. So just something that you can kind of click through and play around with and hopefully learn something new for season one. And obviously I will keep my ear to the ground for what is out there and do my best to cover it for you here in the channel so that you always have as much knowledge as possible. And also let me know down below, what are some tools out there that you've seen that are absolutely amazing and pertinent for season one and all of us to learn Diablo 4 as fast as possible. I'm gonna always try to cover the absolute most important things for you to have knowledge, especially as we ramp up for season one coming here soon. So remember to subscribe on your way out. If you enjoy Diablo 4 content, I will see you soon in the next video. Appreciate you. Peace.